The uh, the reason why they make alcohol is for people who are upset like you, John. <laughs> and this is a good week for alcohol, as they say. It's uh, St. Patrick's week. And in studio with us, uh, Robbie Blair. Good morning, Robbie. Good morning. Thanks for having me in here. Barry Swift. Barry. Good morning, guys. Bring your mic a lot closer to you there, Barry. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Uh, good, welcome back, Barry. I think this is your, what, third year third doing Third year. Third year being the main sponsor here for St. Patty's Day for Martinsburg. Yes, yeah. sir. Well, we appreciate your loyalty here in the town. I'm glad to be a part of it. Yeah. And, Robert, before we get started, I was asked to uh, tell you happy birthday by your mom. She Thank wishes you, you a huge, big happy birthday celebration. Uh, very sweet of mom. She should be... Uh, at this point, picking my son up to go to school. No, so thank, she, thank you for taking Will to school this morning, Mom. She's watching. She just logged in. Oh, so did she? she? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. I don't know. There's a sheriff who, you know, she better not be watching on her phone right now if she's taking Will to school. It's a police so. escort all the way in. <laughs> Long violations. Yeah. yeah. 28 yeah. years old, right? Is that, 28. Is that what here? That's right. Yeah, that, that would make you the youngest person in the room. <laughs> well... Only by, by a little bit. I was going to say by far. <laughs> Dil- Dylan's like 25 or something, right? Dylan, you 25? 26. He just had a birthday. Okay. Yes, too. But you're, but you're still yeah, There's uh, a close. wall in between us. So. There is. There's a in the room, the I'm still the youngest. <laughs> yeah. That's still factually accurate. Yeah. Uh, St. Patrick's Day celebration. Give us the parameters, the hours, and uh, which street you're shutting down. Of course. It's this weekend. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, like all of our street festivals that we have downtown, we close down Queen Street from Race Street all the way to King Street. And uh, like you said earlier, this is the third year that we've partnered with Allegheny Farm. uh, And they, you know, there's certain events where you have people that sponsor stuff. And they get the advertising and they check out. And it's, you know, it's great for us. They're fundraisers. um, And we appreciate everybody's support. But uh, Barry and Keisha and everybody on you all's team, like you all take this as it's your own event. And Keisha's, of course, on our board. But um, this is always a fun one. It kicks our year off for events. Mm -hmm. Um, and Ollie's VIP, uh, you guys are like, you know, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, they get to they put us right beside Ollie's every year, mm-hmm. and basically they bring the party, and we yeah. you know, we kind of set everything else up. And uh, I tell you, it's it's an unbelievable good time to start the spring season out. It care. is. Ollie's yeah. has a BLT egg sandwich that is just phenomenal with the fried egg. Oh, with the mercy! Fried yeah, egg with the fried egg. egg. Yes, yeah, sir. you got to have that. Yes, yes. And that pepperoni flatbed pizza is pretty good too. Yeah. I, I mean, everybody loves the food, the atmosphere, everything at Ollie's. So um, it works out great having them. It's it's kind of like a, a neighborhood block party because y'all are neighbors mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, right right down the road from here um, on Eagle School Road. So it's fun. We, we close the streets down, like I said, from 11 to I think it's 630 is what this one runs towards. Um, and, uh, yeah, live music irish dancers are going to be performing on our main stage this year um we have little bounce house thanks to jefferson reynolds over on martin street um jenny lynn photography she actually just moved in we haven't done a ribbon cutting yet excuse me um but she is over there on martin street in the shenandoah building she's got a brand new uh studio there so she's going to be doing fun themed um photo booth over there so you know everybody likes to come to these things and leave sure. with something they can post on instagram um so all that's happening over there on martin street uh 15 if i'm correct maybe even 18 food trucks are going to be here um and really we bring those food trucks in because we just don't have enough room uh for the for the mass of people that come downtown um so How are you expecting uh, you know, the weather looks like it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, and I know there are other St. Patrick's Day things happening in the area, but ours is free. Um, and it, you know, it costs as much as you want to spend uh, at, at the shops and at all the restaurants and in our beer garden. So um, it is free of charge to get in. Parking is free all day. So uh, I, if, with the weather being nice, I would say anywhere between twelve to 15,000 people. Very nice. Billy? Yeah. What day is it? Is What day is St. Patrick's Day? It, well, it's not on St. Patrick's okay. Day because St. Patrick's Day is on Sunday. Okay. Um, and barring any weather conditions, that's a rain out day. But uh, barring any weather, looks like it's going to be beautiful. We're going to do it on Saturday. It's the 16th. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Now, this, how many years have we, have, have we been doing St. Patrick's Day? This is the third year. So third year. Okay. Uh, Barry and Allegheny have been with us since the start. Um, and, again, you know, it just it feels like we we start the new year and it's like all right let's dust off uh, yeah. everything and, and get to work yes. on it. We come out of hibernation basically and, <laughs> yeah. and just get started with the green beers. Yes, yeah. sir. Now you've I been that you Barry, you've yeah. offered to do quality control on these green beers. Yes, sir. I'm there for the people this year. Yeah. As as of the past two years, I will definitely be uh you know 
taking my uh, fair share of participating. Uh, we actually, I'm bringing in my whole crew this year, uh, serving beers, serving, you know, volunteering completely. Uh, people are more than welcome to come down, meet the people in the store, uh, meet the installers. You know, mm-hmm. everybody's going to be there. Kind of, we're part of the community as well. Is it true that you've offered to take any beers that don't meet what you regard as community quality standard out of circulation by consuming yes. them yourself? Yes, yes. Uh, That's I will, big of you. I will definitely be disposing of them. That's uh, big of you. You know, and you know. People don't appreciate what you do for the community. Yeah, you know, I'm behind the I'm behind the scenes. Yes. I'm basically I'm behind the scenes, just making sure everybody's you know. Bill, it's, it's treated. amazing this, it, this dedication yeah, to quality. And, and we find the it with the younger folks. Folks of my generation would not be that generous. No. You own your own, drink your own, but not with, not, <laughs> not, with barely, not, not where no. we come from. Yeah, no. it's a. I have I have more and more faith in the younger generation yes. now. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, so. you picked a good one there, Rob. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Good job. That's right. Yeah, uh, Rob, you have several of. Uh, significant events through the year mm-hmm. would what would be your signature event would this be one of them yeah this would definitely be up there um you know we try to reiterate to folks that these events are they serve so many different purposes they are fundraisers first and foremost for our organization our nonprofit, um and they serve as a great um mouthpiece for what all the other exciting work that we're doing it's a great opportunity and a great platform to share about all the awesome business that is happening in downtown, the the influx of, of residents that are moving downtown, um, and the partnership that we have with the city of Martinsburg and City Hall. So um, when you say signature event, this is definitely one of the top three uh, fundraising events for us. It's definitely the most attended event that we have. Um, so I absolutely would regard it as one of our signature events. Um, but they all have a similar flair, like the similar feel with different flares to them, sure. you know? Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's a very similar style event to our Christmas on Main, our four state food truck festival. Um, but you know, with an Irish theme and, uh, you know, we're in, in the season, in, in the spirit of, uh, <clears throat> the Irish spirit. So yeah, it, it's great. Um, and it's a great opportunity. The first year, especially we did, um, we shared some cultural history, uh, that Martinsburg has with, with Irish roots and, um, you know, Irish Hill up there on the other side of the train tracks and, um, uh, uh, fire, fire chief, uh, Quinn, you know, one of our first fire chiefs was, was Irish straight from the boat. Yeah. Um, so uh, lots of great history um, that, that we're able to share and highlight all the other stuff that we do um, in our organization. You mentioned Irish dancing. Yes. I assume you're going to ask the mayor to do the Irish dancing part? Well, that's right. Uh, it's no it's no uh, surprise to any of your listeners that Mr. Mayor Kevin Knowles has uh, deep Irish pride. He does. Um, so he will be there. Um, no telling what he's going to be doing on, on the day of, but he will definitely be there, um, not only supporting us, but, you know, having a good time. So we appreciate his enthusiasm for this event, for all of our events, um, as well as council and, and everybody over there at City Hall. How widely are you publicizing this? So it's it's out there. We've, we've had it on Facebook for uh, a couple months now. Um, we've got Facebook ads running, um, the whole deal, so... Uh, as public as as Main Street can go, we got seventeen thousand followers on there, so we're so yeah. we'll keep it positive and assume that the weather is going to be great. But it. if it's not, how is that decision made? And um, it, to move it to Sunday as opposed to Saturday, because there's a lot of logistics in that, and there's there a lot are. of moving parts. How does there that are. work? Um, it, I mean, it's a last minute, like, or not last minute. It's a last effort move like it has to be pretty severe if there's a rainstorm coming through we got tents drizzle doesn't count no no no, okay i mean it has to be like last saturday where it's like it's non-stop it's not letting up was it last year we had a real rainstorm come through or i think the first year okay and and everybody just kind of hung out you know filled up their cups got underneath the tents waited it out and right back out we went And, and to that point um you know it's a little bit different from other events that anybody is really able to put on right so um it, it's what makes a downtown special. It's what makes a downtown significant to a community. Um, we're, we're in the epicenter and heart of our community, and there's so much shelter to run into. Plenty of businesses that will welcome you with, mm-hmm. with their arms open to say, hey, come in and, and browse around a little bit while this storm passes through. Um, you know, our, our layout of our event uh, lends itself to uh, the passing thunderstorm in the spring you know you, you can just pop in somewhere and we also have large um canopy tents from jefferson Reynolds that um 
you know, if need be, I think we have 48 hours to cancel. But um, if need be, they have the little wrapped uh, enclosure on the sides, sides yeah. and, and they space heaters in case it's really cold, which last year was a little chilly. First year was 75 degrees, mm -hmm. so uh, you just never know. So it's not just a street event. The restaurants and the stores, and the, they will all be open, right? Yes, and and we, again, you know, it's a fundraiser for us. Uh, it highlights a lot of things. It's a fun time to get together, um, but the whole point of Main Street Martinsburg is to promote what exists in downtown Martinsburg. Um, so if, if we throw these festivals and nobody goes into the stores or restaurants and we've failed, um, the whole point is that people would come downtown more frequently um, and they would make our downtown their third place. What about leprechauns? Do you expect to have leprechauns dancing around? We, we've totally tasked Barry with that job. Again, multitasker <laughs> here. Uh, I have multiple responsibilities yeah. during this event and you might see me wearing a little green. Well, with enough of the about, with enough of the beer sampling, Bill. Yeah, but uh, we uh, didn't Mike hike last year aggressive he did. leprechaun he, yeah. here for the yeah. Friday show. He did. He yeah. came in. Are right, you ready for a little St. Patty's Day trivia? Oh, hit me. I've been looking. We'll start with the easiest one. Of which country is St. Patrick the patron saint? Ireland. All right. Why is St. Patrick's Day March seventeenth? Mm, I don't know that one. It's the day St. Patrick died. All right. Okay. Now, uh, I'll move along here to a, a couple of other ones here. So this is kind of fascinating. I had no idea this was true. Where and when was the first St. Patrick's Day parade ever recorded? This, I, this answer will surprise you. I guess New York City. You, would, you'd think, because that's the yeah, site of the yeah, biggest yeah. parade yeah, is my, New York City, right? My bet would be either Pittsburgh or Chicago. All right. What year do you think? Oh, no idea. Why, why those two? Um, so I've, I've actually been in both cities yeah. around the time that, yeah. that they've happened. I know, obviously, we all know Chicago. Uh, yeah. They dye the river green mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. But when I was in Pittsburgh, I was shocked to learn how much Irish heritage they have there and how seriously they take it. They, they boast, I think, the second largest Irish parade in or celebration, I should say, in America. Pittsburgh has a very large Irish population. Yeah. Uh, so uh, here, here it is. St. Augustine, Florida, <laughs> held the first ever St. Patrick's Day parade in 1601. It was a Spanish colony, but the vicar was Irish. So he now decided to run the first St. Patrick's Day. Now, the first St. Patrick's Day in the British colonies of America took place in Boston in 1737. Also makes sense. Right? The biggest one, as we said, is in New York City. You mentioned Chicago dyes the uh, rivers green. Uh, Ireland didn't hold their first St. Patrick's Day parade until 1903. Uh, they did it. Uh, and uh, here you go. This is an easy one. Uh, according to Irish lore, what animal did St. Patrick drive out of Ireland? Oh, 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 snakes. The snakes, oh, I'll yeah. call you Horshack there for a second. <laughs> 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 what do the three leaves of the shamrock symbolize on St. Patrick's Day? The Holy Trinity. Very good. That's all right, one fist bump. Good job. <laughs> what are the odds of finding a lucky four-leaf clover? One in what? I'd say a thousand. Thousand? All right, there's where we are. Let's Thousands say, of people. Let's say 13,000, how many people I want to see downtown. 13,000 for the number of people downtown. <laughs> Bill or John, any guess? No, I think bears pretty much. We, as a kid, we used to find quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. 432. Mm -hmm. yeah. According to a Google search, it's one in 10,000. But researchers at the University of Georgia, who actually spent time looking at this, say that's not a reliable number. But that's the number we're going to have to go with because mm -hmm. that's it. Apparently, a lot of it depends on temperature and what have you. So, um, oh, interestingly enough, the highest number of leaves ever recorded on a single clover stem is 56. That would be 56. Pretty, pretty crazy, right? Yeah, 56. That's a big clover. That, I can't imagine how Clover big. stock. What does Aaron go bra mean? Have you ever heard that expression? Mm -hmm. Aaron go bra, that's a big Irish expression. It just means Ireland forever. Oh. And your last trivia question, how do leprechauns earn their gold? Mm -hmm. Find the, uh, the barrel at the end of the rainbow. They that, steal it, don't else? they? They steal it. M making and mending <laughs> shoes is uh -huh. how they do it. Well, I'd have never got that. That's I not, wouldn't have either. That's not very exciting. It's not. It's not yeah. an exciting way to make yeah. gold, yeah. is it? Yeah. What happened to the barrel at the end of the at the end of the rainbow, as Judy Garland would say? Well, after you mend enough shoes, you have your gold. <laughs> put that there. At the end of the rainbow signifies your retirement as a leprechaun. Leprechaun Social Security is a pot of gold. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your your breadth of information is better. Should be restricted to what you read on the monitor. 
I gave it a shot. <laughs> How's this for some Irish trivia? Who, yes, which Irishman won uh, Best Actor last night in the Oscars? Oh, the, Killian uh, Murphy. Oh, yeah. Killian yeah. Murphy, yes. Yeah. And he made, made sure everybody knew he was a proud Irishman in his speech. The name Killian Murphy probably gave that away. He probably didn't have to. <laughs> and in fact, until I heard it. a recording of the speech, I would have called him Cillian Murphy. Oh so, really? Yes. There you go. So, yeah. Because of the much like the Baltic, uh, the um, the the Boston Celt Celtic. Celtics, Celtics, Celtics yeah. but they've always the Celtics <clears throat> in mm -hmm. in my youth. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, when you're in America, you pronounce it the way Americans <laughs> pronounce it. <laughs> You take your Irish pronunciation back to Ireland. And I just did a I just did a sports thing. You did. You mentioned the Celtics, right? I get credit. Yeah, you do. No fist bump for me because I, I, I I'm it, here all the time. In it's my the, defense, it's a longer stretch. The, it's, well, that's true. It is a longer. I don't stretch. want you to hurt yourself. Yeah. Hey, uh, Robbie, what's next after the St. Patrick's Day parade? Next after St. Patrick's Day will be um, our wine fest in May. Uh, so, well, we'll have the Duck Derby as well um, there on Earth Day. So. Um, that's a, a really fun one that we have over there on the Tuscarora Creek by Adam Stephen House. But mm -hmm. we'll be really gearing up for Wine Festival. Um, another fun thing that I want to highlight that we're going to have at this event, it's the first time we've rolled it out. Um, we launched last fall our downtown passport. So for $15, it's another fundraiser for Main Street. We've eliminated uh, membership. Um, this is your way to support Main Street Martinsburg. We have a digital passport that most of our downtown businesses have participated in offering some sort of a discount to our passport holders. Um, and it's geo-located, so you have to show up to the place um, to redeem your, your discount, but it's $15. Um, and that $15 has hundreds of savings downtown, um, some one time, some reoccurring. So you can go to the Berkeley, I think once a week and get a free drink. Um, you can go to Bricks 27 and get a free dessert with dinner. Uh, Stoney's offers a free appetizer. Uh, lots of BOGOs at, at our uh, retail stores. Um, Is there anything at the garage yet involved with this? So the garage currently, because they're still sorting out, you know, they're all the different entities, all that stuff. Um, for some folks that don't offer a discount, um, the, the other perk of our passport is every time you use it, every time you check in, either redeeming something or just check in to a location, uh, you earn downtown points. Mm -hmm. So the garage right now is one of those places where you check in, you get 100 points for, for shopping at a business downtown. So they don't, we, you know, they didn't have to uh, give us something in order to be on the passport. We have some folks on there that you just check in, but every time you earn points, you enter in to win things like right now, we have a Yeti cooler uh, that, that you could win a raffle for. Um, we have downtown Martinsburg merch that, that we sell, um, that it's free if you shop enough downtown. Um, and then for this event, um, we're rolling out our, our passport lounge. First time ever we've had this. Uh, so we have generously donated by Heidi Crawford Realtor, who also happens to be um, our board president. Um, she had She's donated uh, brand new patio furniture from uh, from Home Depot that we're going to have there. So we have lots of lots of lounge area with refreshments um, that'll be exclusive to passport holders in the beer garden. So you won't have to fight for somewhere to sit in this very high traffic area. And um, the biggest pain point of these events is the long waits. Nobody likes to wait in line. So uh, you'll see at this event, we have a cash line, we have a credit line, and then you can skip the line if you're a passport holder. There's a passport holder spot. So um, kind of like Walt Disney World, um, you know, the, the ex, ex, expedited line Thanks, there. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. so um, it's, it's really, really, there's tons of incentives to be a passport holder. Um, but this is our first event that, that you can have your own area and skip the line if you're a passport holder. And it's really easy online. You can uh, sign up really quickly. And the, the Development Authority paid for or sponsored that one. So, And where do you um, go to get it? MainStreetMartinsburg.com. Uh, mm -hmm. It's right on our homepage, and there's a tab up top that says Passport. So this is a thing that you have on your phone. It's not a... That's correct. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a physical passport. We actually got the idea from our friends in Charleston. They did a physical book that each business had a stamp, and they would put it on. But we wanted to make sure that people wouldn't leave home without it. Um, so it, it's always with you when you go downtown. Um, and again, you know, we thought, hey, how can we get people outside of these large festivals that people love to come to, um, how can we train people's shopping habits to, to come downtown? Just a little more incentive to come downtown and enjoy um, our historic business district. Are the scooters completely gone? They're gone. They're gone. Um, do, you, I, do you regret that they're gone? 
I really like them. I, I, me personally, working downtown, and we our downtown district is actually much larger. Like the name Main Street is very deceiving because it's plural. <laughs> we have Main Streets, lots of streets in our district that that we cover. So mm-hmm. um, I would have to go, you know, all over the place. And if I, you know, time pinch, I'd I'd hop on one of those things and I'd get there a lot quicker. And I wouldn't have to get in my car and lose my parking space and the whole nine yards. So My my son and his fiance live Fed Hill, Baltimore, Mm -hmm. and they use those scooters to get around town a lot. Well, you know, the the downside here is we do not have a bike lane or something that is, you know, designated for these folks. So a lot of people would ride them on the sidewalks, and technically that was not the arrangement. They are technically supposed to be on the road with a helmet. Um, And I know that that was... That's a pain point in a small town that doesn't have, you know, designated small uh, micro, what do they call it, micro vehicular. Whatever. Movement. Yeah. Bike lanes. <laughs> yeah. Transit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So They went to a Halloween party dressed as uh, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo on those scooters down the down the street there in Baltimore. A little micro uh, mystery machine there. Yeah, a little micro mystery machine. Yeah. <laughs> Created quite a lot of attention, I might nice. add. Shaggy nice. and Scooby. Yeah. Flying by you at 20 miles an hour, Bill. That's good. So we're going to have all of all going to be consuming a lot of beverages, and that's the exercise in recycling. So there'll be facilities all along the 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 street for receptacles. Uh, well, bathrooms all along, oh. or are they located in clusters on either end of the street? How does that work? Yeah. Um, again. There's oh. lots of pros to being down. You meant recycling a different way. I did. I just I didn't want to get yeah. gross, right? I tried I mean, I to you know, keep it. it. I didn't catch on with that. <laughs> you can be a little esoteric. Bio-recycling. Esoteric. How's that? Yeah. yeah um, the the bathroom station is on the um, the entrance from Queen Street onto Burke Street parking lot there, right by Uncle Joe's. Um, you know, there's lots of benefits to doing a festival downtown, but this is one of those things where um, – you know, I'm, a, I'm, they only, they drop them off on Friday and they pick them up on Monday. And I don't want to be the guy who leaves the toilet in front of somebody's business for four days, um, especially after they've had heavy use. Um, so Amen. that, that area over there is where they'll, uh, so it re- takes planning it, a little bit okay. yeah. so and, and a little trial far. by error. We've, we've tried other things and, um, that those Sunday morning phone calls and text messages have not been pleasant whenever yeah. people show up. And I like there. the rest of us had interpreted John's question differently. <laughs> right. But that brings back to the litter that's uh, generated. Mm-hmm. The city does a marvelous job yes. of cleaning it up right after the. So. They do. Um, I can't speak highly enough. They actually won the uh, Public Partner of the Year award for Main Street. Uh, our Public Works Department is phenomenal. Um, they are at these things like I'll get there at 6 a.m. on Saturday um, and start doing stuff. And, and they're right there with me getting everything set up along with the police department. But uh, you're right. They they when when it's all said and done and everybody's, you know, gone to bed and they're out of here. Uh, you would have no idea that we just had 15,000 people yeah. downtown. Yeah. Uh, the, the way that they come through and clean everything up. And actually, they're there the whole day helping mm-hmm. us, um, you know, clean receptacles and and take care of anything that we need so um the public works and uh police department with the help of city hall i mean absolutely integral to these street festivals yeah barry you've been a sponsor for three years now this will be your third year what prompted you to step up to become a sponsor you know i guess it's one of them opportunities when they brought it to me i i could not come up with a reason not to mm-hmm. i mean as as much as we are for the community trying to build up downtown martinsburg i mean we live here too you know we want to see it flourish we want to see it grow you know uh it's just something that you know it, it's really good timing for us i mean we're hibernating you know that our store opens up you know uh the 18th of march this year which is the monday right after st patty's day and you know we're full go so it's kind of it's one last hooray for us you know before we get really busy but yet it puts us down with everybody else with all the other stores with the community meeting people you know before everybody i, I think uh, being st patty's day being the time and everybody's over winter and it wasn't that bad but yet everybody's ready to come outside and play basically so you know kind of brings everybody downtown and we get to be a part of it sure and I, 59 and sunny on saturday by the way oh, perfect a little sweater if you need it mm-hmm. maybe a couple guinnesses will do the trick too um, I also want to reiterate with that, um, you know, when folks are looking for their landscaping needs this spring and summer, um, I hope that we all remember the businesses that support our community groups and our uh, 
our community. When we do our shopping uh, for these things, it's always important to look out on the Little League fence and see who's, who's paid their dues to, to our community. Uh, and, and likewise with this, um, it's always important to shop local and support the people that support our community. So thank you, Barry. Barry, oh, how do people get a hold of you for your services, sir, to landscape? Uh, we are at AlleghenyFarm.com. We are at 527 Eagle School Road, right up the street, uh, seven days a week. Definitely stop in, see us, say hi, stop at, stop at the festival, see us. Uh, we will be there uh, right next to Ollie's tent, uh, right on Burke Street, I believe. Yep, right in the beer garden. Great to see you both. Thanks for having us, Rob. Final trivia question, what is the national symbol of Ireland? The harp. Anybody? I thought it was a cloverleaf, clover. I just said a clover. There you yeah. go, the shamrock. Yeah, oh, shamrock. Yeah. 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 Yeah.